I doubt I shall ever forget the strange series of events that led to my meeting young Vulcan. The peoples of the world had been fearfully whispering about the Ice Lords for the past ten years, though of course, they had been present long before then. The Dead Walker army, an endless horde of undead creatures under the Ice Lord's command, swept down from the mountains in the north, annihilating all resistance on the continent. Each battle only served to swell their ranks with the defeated dead, and the bloodless world seemed ready to sink into an endless ice age where there would be no place for the living. There were a few who still tried to stand against the invaders. The elves, who had hitherto remained neutral, and the red scribes, a small group of scholars who believed their knowledge might be able to tip the scales. The scribes had recently engaged the services of a group of mercenaries known as the Freeborn Blades, a renowned company who would become even more so after these events. The Blades were to protect them while they performed a ritual which was intended to change the course of the war. Out. You can smell them from 50 yards away. So here we are. And just think, the captain wanted me to stay and set up. <coughs> I didn't join the Freeborn Blades to snap pots and make their trains. It's just hanging around. Setting up camp. Now that's what I call being useful. I honestly believe we stay out of this damn war till the end. Well, looks like the end just showed up. The Ice Lords have really done it this time. All of their TL is on the brink. Nothing will stop the dead walkers. Soon there won't be a town left to fall back to, or even a tavern where you can spend your pay. There's no one left to turn back this filthy, stinking tide, if it were even possible. Let's hope our beloved employers can deliver on their promises. If their big ritual thing doesn't pan out, we're all gonna be left standing here with our asses hanging out. A bunch of chatty priests playing Sorcerer's Apprentice against <coughs> some immortal mages. Sounds great. Anyhow, you have to fight fire with fire, so they say. Damn, they're here already. I better warn the others fast. Enjoy your stroll. Get over here and tell me about it.
by the looks of you. I'm guessing it wasn't just a quiet stroll. So, what did you see? The dead walkers are already close. I got one of their scouts. God damn it, Vulcan! I've told you a hundred times, recon means observing and reporting, not charging in and fighting without thinking. I didn't want him to alert all of the others before we were ready for them. But what if they'd have killed you? Then you wouldn't have been able to alert us before they were ready to attack us. Think for a second. God's blood. We have to get ready for them. Now that you've finally got your ass back over here, you can prepare some traps. Get Peeler to help you place them around the temple. That'll give us some time, and we'll hear them coming. Yes, sir, Captain. And if you have questions, you know where to find me. Hey, Vulcan. Can't talk to you right now. Give all these to Peeler. He'll figure it out. Hey, Peeler, lend me a hand, will you? We've got to prepare the area before it gets overwhelmed with walking corpses. These are a few treats to welcome our buddies, the Dead Walkers. Booby trap all the access points. Try not to blow yourself up. <laughs> Don't sweat it. I can handle it. I'm not kidding. If you lose an arm, it's going to be my ass that gets blamed. Everything okay, Buffalo? Yeah. I wish those goddamn mobile corpses would just attack. I hate all this hanging around. You don't seem too upset that the Dead Walkers are coming for us. It's not the first time we've faced the Dead Walkers. And considering what's going on, we knew that one day, sooner or later, we'd have to deal with their main force. It's not like there are a lot of us to stand against them. I just hope we can put up a good fight before they kill us. What do you think of our employers? You know very well it's not up to us to decide, but I think they're a bunch of scrotums. They're convinced they can win this war with a few books. And while they're busy doing their stupid research, we have to watch their asses. But that's the job. It's not like we had any choice. Do you have any clue why the scribes wanted to gather here? I don't know. At least we can be sure of one thing. It wasn't for the beautiful scenery. I heard a mumbling about an invoking chamber. That's what they came here to find. I guess it must be important to them. They say you can't be killed. Is that true? Sometimes you're so gullible it's almost charming. That's just a story they tell to new recruits. Still, you've been in the Blades a hell of a long time, and you're still in one piece. That doesn't mean anything. Sure, I've been lucky. I can handle myself, and I guess I'm smart enough to know when to fall back. So, sure, I ain't bought it yet, but my turn will come. See you later.
Spiders are coming! Now! Drive them back! We must hold the Esplanade! Here come more of them. Getting along with the scribes. He's meant to be guarding their invoking chamber. Huh? But, Captain. Get out of here! And go find Pila for me while you're gone. I'll give you, but, Captain. Right. They're coming or what?
everything okay, Buffalo? As long as I can hear them mumbling, everything is okay. One of those dead things managed to get as far as here, but I killed it before it could interrupt them. That's good news. Captain's holding the front entry, Hawk's on the west wing, I got the east. Got any idea where Peeler is? I think I saw him over on the east side. You should find him if you head over there. Thanks. I hope he's still in one piece. And, uh, you might want to check inside the invoking room. We just came across some specters. Those things can go straight through walls, and they might get in there without asking you first. Is that so?
some help here. There's too many of them, and I got this stupid scribe under my feet. You, scribe. Get back to the chamber with the other. Can't protect you if you keep wandering around. Pretty sure that jerk would have gotten you killed. No shit. Next time, be more careful, okay? I talked with the captain. He wants to see you. Oh shit! Retreat! 
Everyone fall back to the invoking room, and fast! We almost have it! Well now, that must be the fifth time I heard him say that. This stupid ritual is taking too God's damn long.
How did I do that? Captain, I think it's time we talked about a promotion. We don't have time for this, Vulcan. We need to move out before the rest of them get here. The passes are probably crawling with them already. There's a passage to the other side of the mountain. It will lead us to the swamp. The swamp? Oh, that sounds fun. Hey, did anybody see what I just did to that huge fucking monster? I mean, seriously. I fried that thing. I saved our asses, and you're all just... Hey, what's for lunch? I said shut it, Vulcan. choice. No choice? Hast thou even thought of choosing? Thou art fled like a thief, and thou hast left me, a shadow of myself, trapped here in this prison. I did not create this situation. I'm not even sure I understand what has happened. The hour for questions is past. Thou must act. It is I who will suffer for thy cowardice. I who will pay for thine fault. I who will face extinction. And if I must die, if the flame is extinguished, our world will die as well. I will not let the flame die. I am in a war against these necromancers, and at last I have the power to fight them. What dost thou hope to accomplish in this ridiculous human shell? As it is now, it is useless to us. The flame is not a toy for mewing infants. It exists to reign. Its power must not be stolen from thee. We must reconquer the world hard as swiftly as we may. Hey, Vulcan, enough of your daydreaming. Move your ass, huh? Buffalo. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. My head feels like a bomb went off in it. Well, shake it off. We're still not at the end of this stinking swamp, and I'm not gonna carry you all the way to the village. Anyway, how come Hawk isn't the one with me here? He's the lead scout. I always go with him. Hawk is covering the back of the line. So this time, I'm the one who goes with you. You'll get over it. Why do I get the feeling I'm under surveillance? You think nobody noticed your little stunt at the temple? Damn right we're watching you. Now shut your trap and keep an eye on our perimeter, while I keep an eye on you. And while the captain has a nice chat about me with the Red Scribes. It'll be a lot easier to talk to those two-faced snakes without you hanging around. Don't worry about it. He'll tell you what you need to know. And if he doesn't tell you, then I will. Thanks, Sarge. Let's get moving before everybody catches up. You lot are about as discreet as a herd of hunchbacks. I thought that elves were supposed to have superior eyesight. Do we look like stiffs to you, dickhead? Not yet.
but with an arrow sticking out of your throat, I'm certain that even a chatterbox like you could do a passable impression. And you'd be the next one down. Possibly. Perhaps I should aim for the largest target first. Not if you want to keep both your balls. What have we here? Buffalo in person. Well, that's a good sign. What's going on here? Who's the scrag with the pointy ears? Thanks for noticing. I try to keep them sharp. I am called Relmar. And I gather the red-faced fat belly with the filthy beard is none other than the famous Elric, leader of the Freeborn Blades. They call me the Captain. All the Freeborn Blades call you Captain Elric. I have no doubt that they do. As for me, I've never had much interest in titles or in military protocol. I judge people by their deeds. His rank was granted in the field. You seem like you know enough about the Freeborn Blades to know what that means. I have enough knowledge of your history to know that your leader has made a name for himself. So, yes, call him what you will. The fact that he is your captain concerns only you and those availing themselves of your services. That's enough! We're not going to stand here bullshitting all night. Just what the fuck are you doing here, Relmar, you harsh-tongued bastard? Looking for you? Well, I began by searching for the Red Scribes. Prince Arundel is wounded. We had to withdraw to Valvanor, where I learned that you were expected. I just wanted to make sure you found your way there. This is not my first walk in the wilds, arsewipe. As you can see, I'm on the right path, and we've nearly reached our destination. Captain, those creatures I told you about this morning are gathering nearby. They're probably getting ready to attack us. Ah, well those are called chrysalids. They wait until they have gathered enough numbers, and then they overwhelm you. And it would seem your little group is attracting a whole swarm to the village. Well, we'll give them a welcome. Actually, in spite of themselves, these creatures do an excellent job of keeping dead walker scouts away without raising any suspicions. If we allow them to gather here and then massacre them, I fear we'll be moving their territory a bit too close to Valvanor, which will lead to our being discovered sooner or later. I suggest we send one or two men back. This will keep them separated and occupied while the rest make it to the village. I'm ready to volunteer. If you fear I might try and slip away, I know the area well. Sounds like a plan to me. Vulcan, you're on it. I want to go too. I... The animals and plants in this swamp are extraordinary. And the venom of these chrysalids seems very interesting. I'd love to get a chance to observe them more closely. Sybil, that is out of the question. Have you lost your mind? It's too dangerous. Come on, let her off the leash. It'll be good for her. I promise I'll bring her back in one piece. Vulcan, rule number two. We'll see you at the village. Sybil! See you later. Thanks for watching.